It's the first time that the UK has taken part in the event and the team will be headed up by soldiers and Challenger 2 tanks of the Queen's Royal Hussars. The last couple of weeks we've been doing uh, uh, training for the European Tank Competition. So just rehearsing the drills, getting the lads to go through it, make sure everything's in the right place. Every lad knows exactly what he's doing. So it's just a, a muscle memory when we get out there and have to do the competition. With Austria, Germany and the US taking podium places in last year's competition, the UK team's training has been clearly focused, planning out each serial in a rehearsal of concept or rock drill before taking on the practice on Athlone Barracks. There'd be a simulated IED, the front wagon would get uh, track damage and a casualty. The crew of the damaged vehicle evacuate the casualty. The vehicle behind would spring forward with all the tools and equipment needed, start to work on the track as they are doing here. They have to split the track, take one link out, run it around the wagon, put it back together to simulate that the track has been repaired. And from that point, when the track's back together, that's when the time stops and we'll get hopefully as many points as possible. The Queen's Royal Hussars entry has 37 soldiers, made up of 16 competing team members, four reserves and support staff. Joining the team is Corporal Lawrence Cox from the Royal Tank Regiment, who, as well as hoping to help take the team to victory, will be picking up tips and information ready for next year's competition, in which the RTR are the lead. They've been fantastic, very hosting, you know, very welcoming. The crew that I work with as well, they're exceptional. They're really well trained and very professional. The second part of the day's practice session begins the same way as the last with a rock drill, but this time in full chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear, also known as CBRN, defence gear. And it's pretty hot. When this um, chemical attack happens, the driver of the tank that's just been hit will signify to all the other tanks in the troop that a chemical attack is in process by putting his horn on for one second, taking it off, putting it on and taking it off. That will indicate that we are under a chemical attack. At that stage, all the operators and commanders of all the tanks in the troop will close down, turn on their chemical fans, and all crew members will put on their general service respirators. The operator and the commander of the tank that was hit will do the same. They'll put on their respirators, they'll jump off, close the hatches to prevent any chemicals from getting inside the tank, and then start to um, hook up the broken tank to the towing tank with the tow ropes that are on the on the sides of the wagon. After the day's training, they analyse what they've done and the areas that they can work on. But what are they most looking forward to? I'd say definitely the, uh, the gunnery competition. I'll just enjoy driving down range and seeing all targets come up and go down when we hit them all, which we will. We'll be following all their progress at the Strong Europe Tank Challenge competition in June.